Hello everybody, this is Josh from Twisted Tools. I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on what's new in version 1.1 of Ultraloop. Um, in version 1.1 of Ultraloop, we've added a bunch of new features and made some uh, minor improvements to CPU optimization um, and the lemur template as well. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how um, to use the new features that we've added. So the new features that we've added are up here in the sequencer area. There's three new uh, features you'll see right here and down below in the footer you'll see uh, two new features as well so I'm going to be going over those today. So the first feature that you see on the left here are these two um, arrows and the arrows allow you to shuffle your sequence left and right. So for example if I have a sequence playing back I could shuffle the pattern and it's just a fun way to get quick new variations but keep the basic combination of loops the same. So that's kind of fun, uh, simple new feature that we've added. Shuffle left and right. And next to shuffle, you'll see this three, uh, these three little colors here. And if I click on that, um, everything gets uh, color coded. And what I've done is I've color coded the track sequencer and the sliders down below. So uh, what you're seeing is, for example, this green track, um, this is the control for the loops for the green track. So now there's a stronger visual connection between the track sequencer area and the actual track parameters that you find inside all of these cells. So hopefully that helps you um, when you're trying to kind of zero in on a particular sound. Um, it's a kind of uh, nice option. So if you don't like the color scheme, you could turn this off and get back to our standard blue version. Now, next to the color code option, you'll find the sequencer select area control. Now, what this allows you to do is it allows you to edit a particular section of the sequence by randomizing right, or copy pasting one particular section and dragging and pasting it into a different one. So this is really cool if you've got something happening on the right hand side of your sequence uh, that you really like and you want to paste it over uh, into the left hand sequence left-hand part of the sequence, you could do that. Um, so this is a cool, nice new feature. Now, uh, down below, I'm gonna turn this off. Down below in the footer section, you'll find uh, the gate button and the gate retrigger button. Now what these do is they basically allow you to trigger when, you, when you're hearing the scenes playing back via MIDI. So before in the version one of Ultra Loop, when I hit play, the scenes are always playing back. Now some users requested this option to be able to gate and control via MIDI when the scenes play back. So I'm going to turn on gate, I'm going to hit play, and you hear nothing. You hear nothing but you see the sequence going. It's waiting for my MIDI note to come in. So now I'm going to play a MIDI note, let go of the MIDI note, and the sound goes away. So this way when you're programming something in your DAW, for example, you could program when you want Ultra Loop to turn on, and let go of the note when you want it to turn off. Now the retrigger option basically restarts the position of the sequence every time you play a MIDI note as well and gates the signal. So if I hit play, nothing happens. It's waiting for a gate. I play a gate, it restarts. I play a gate, it restarts. And this way I could do kind of fast restarts via MIDI. Um, and that's a really cool handy feature. If you turn those off, you get back to your standard mode where the sequences are always playing back. Now, one thing to mention is these two settings, we decided that it was better if they weren't stored with the snapshot. In other words, you may want to flip through all the snapshots using gate and retrigger mode, or you may want to flip through all the snapshots with gate and retrigger mode off. So these two settings are not stored with the snapshot. If you really want to store these settings with the snapshot, there is a trick. If you kind of um, turn on edit mode, right click the parameter here, and go into this um, uh, function tab here, you'll see this option for snap isolate. If I turn that off, now every time I store a preset and I hit um, store here down in my preset section, every time I do that, I'm going to be storing the current gate position with uh, the snapshot. So you could go ahead and save your ensemble then and it'll remember all those settings. All right, thanks a lot. Um, hopefully that helped to explain everything that's new in version 1.1. Um, just so you know, we've also included a machine2 preset file as well that's got all the parameters mapped to machine knobs. 
Um, and so if you're a machine user, you want to check that out as well. So go ahead and download the update. It's free for registered users. Uh, if you're not registered yet, just go to our site, log into your account, and register your product, and you'll be able to download. Thank you.